Adorn yourself with every means necessary to feign eternal youth. Face paints, prostheses. It is to show that you are young and happy. Like the Olympian gods of yore, you can revitalize yourself as you please, and boast with your showings of material wealth. These acts are only a shallow and false worshipping of God through oneself. We must reshape ourselves through knowledge and wisdom, not through smoke and mirrors, not through lies and pleasantries. Recognize ourselves as animals that lack a divine sanction right and that we are on some higher level than the rest of the natural world. This anthropocentrism, the idea that we are special and we have some higher right over all other species, keeps us from acknowledging the spark that we call consciousness as our own. See the future of humans as a realization that we must cherish in nature that spark into a fire that illuminates and enlightens against the demon haunted world. Only through this, one day, we may become gods ourselves, undying and all-knowing, but not because of some let's pretend game or some non-tangible idea, some mystery place, for a mystery body inhabiting entity to go after death, but because we forged our destiny, unrelenting, and never stopping to waste our time on tinsel. Many will be scared at first. They will want to sit at home and go back to eating their pie. It is both the sphere and unconcern that causes our greatest woes. They will say it's playing God to prevent old age and diseases, or believe that man is not meant to have great power. But they've said this all throughout history. The benefits will quickly outweigh the risks, and people will again move ahead, forging their destiny, unrelenting, and only stopped by few that fear change.